Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2021 tutorial. In this one, I took a request and one of my, I guess, followers has asked me to show them how to animate something across the screen. And what that, basically what we're doing is I'm going to show you how to have a logo in this case, but it can be anything. Basically start off the screen, come onto the screen, and then go out the other side. And I'll show you a few tips and tricks while we're here. So let's just get started. The first step here is I've got some footage in the background. This is just stock footage. And it's a lady inside a phone booth. Yeah, what the heck's a phone booth? <laughs> Where's your cell phone? Oh, well, anyways, the second step, let's just keep rolling, is I've got an image here. This is a Vancouver Canuck uh, logo. And I'm going to drag and drop it onto my timeline. The first thing I'm going to do, besides resizing it, is I'm going to increase the length of the uh, image here so that it fits the exact length of the video beneath it. The second step is I'm going to select the logo or the image that I've placed in here. And when I do that, I'm going to go look at the effect controls panel. For me, I'm just going to double click on it. And then I'm going to grab one of these sides with the bounding boxes. And I'm just going to reduce the size because it's a bit too big. And I'm holding down the shift key so that it uh, reduces in size proportionately. Now I'm going to just keep holding it down and I'm going to move this to the bottom left side. And now this is traditionally how you would go ahead and uh, place a logo and now I can show you how to animate it. The tricky part here though is that it's very difficult to get it on and off the screen. What you need to do, and it's going to be weird, but you actually want to go here to the zoom level and instead of having it set to fit, which I believe is a default for everybody, we're going to drop it down to about 50% and there's a reason for that. <laughs> and here it is. I'm going to go ahead now and select double click on the logo and what you need to do is making sure you don't hold down here in the middle but anywhere outside of it I'm gonna hold down the shift key and I'm gonna move it oh, I'm gonna try and move it I'm gonna move it to the left and you'll see here now that it has actually started outside so we are outside the screen and it is going to go and animate onto the screen I'm gonna let go and the next step here and this is a very important one is you need to go to your effect controls panel and left click on that toggle animation stopwatch. Left clicking, perfect. Now, it's disappeared and that's very frustrating because I didn't want that to happen, but it always happens. The way to go ahead and see it is you just left click again on motion and that is not usually clear and it's a little frustrating because it's, uh, it's not intuitive, but if you left click back on the video under motion, you'll get the bounding box on there. The next step here is we've set a keyframe for the beginning and you'll see here by that little triangle there now we're gonna go to the let's say we're gonna go to the middle of it somewhere around here four seconds and at the four second mark I want this image to this logo to have gone across the screen and out the other side so I'm gonna hold that down I'm gonna hold down the shift key and that way it goes the whole way and it goes straight line and then I'm gonna just go ahead and pull it out to the other side and when I do that let's see what happens I'm gonna move this back to the beginning and I'm going to hit spacebar and you'll see it go. Come on. And there we go. The image has gone on and off the screen inside Premiere Pro. That's how we solve that issue, guys. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.